Good morning, church. My name is Tessie Bahati, and with me here is my sister, Natalie Subira. And you are going to sing a song entitled, In Need of Grace. Welcome. In need of grace, in need of love, in need of mercy raining down from high above, in need of strength, in need of peace, in need of things that are only Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Um, happy Sabbath, boys and girls. Today, thank you for joining us today for our lesson. And we are going to learn together. Previously, in our series, um, we learned that there are many different parts united together um, for the body of Christ. We realized that we need each other and we love each other. And we, we, if we love each other, we will never think bad of our differences, but we will appreciate each other as important. Today, our lesson is about healing waters. What comes to your mind when you think about healing waters? I don't know about you, but I think but I think of some water with medicine in it. Today with us is Daddy and Samuel to share with us the lesson. They seem to be in a very interesting attire. Daddy, why are you in that dress like that? Well, 
check. I I'm dressed like a farmer because we have a lesson to learn from the farm. Wow. Sam, why are you dressed like that? Because today we have a lesson about baptism. Yes. So today, yes, today, our lesson today is about the healing waters or baptism. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we have come this time, even as we present this sermon, that we have that you may use us. The words that we're going to say and how we're going to present it may be acceptable, even may be understandable to our children as little as they are, Father. That, Father, that you may learn something of the baptism, Father, that at the end of the day, may your name be glorified, and, Father, that we may continue to believe in you. For in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Oh, son, when were you last in the village? Not long ago. Well, how, uh, which are the animals that you saw, the farm animals that you saw in the village? Cows, goats, sheep, and chickens, and dogs. Okay, that sounds good. And uh, let's talk about cows now. Uh, from, from the grandpa's farm, you said farm, you saw, you saw cows. How many cows roughly did you see? About 10. About 10. Okay, were they clean or dirty? I'm not so sure, but I think they were clean. Okay, next time you go to the village, make sure you check. Because grandpa always ensures that his cows are very clean, okay? You mean cows take a bath? Yes. Boys and girls, cows take a bath. Long time ago when we were young, uh, we used to take our cows to take a bath. And uh, where they used to take a bath was called a cattle dip. And I want to believe it still exists. I, I, I have uh, a picture of a cattle dip. You see? Okay, boys and girls, that's a picture of a cattle dip. And uh, I, I believe that the cattle dip still exists where we used to take the cows. You said young men and boys will meet to take their cows to take a bath. That sounds very interesting. Was there one big bathroom for the cows? Yes, there was one big bathroom for the cows. And that's why I said earlier on we used to take the boys uh, we used to go boys and girls and many, uh, many boys and, and, and uh, young men to take uh, the cows to the bath. Just like what you've seen, there was a big bathroom for the cows that was called uh, a cattle dip. And when you get a cattle dip, uh, there are various chemicals, okay? There's a chemical uh, that is called an insecticide that is dipped in the, in the cattle dip. And this chemical, it helps uh, when ticks stick on cows and then they bite and uh, suck blood, the cows can easily become sick, very sick actually, and even die. Did they go to hospital? No, cows usually, you find that there's a, a doctor called the veterinary. So this doctor comes to treat the cows and he only treats uh, cows but not animals. You say the doctor is called a veterinary. That's a new one to some of the boys and girls. What do the bathing with chemicals do? Well, the bathing with chemicals, when you give the cows uh, that special bath, the chemicals kill the insects, and so the cows don't get uh, sick at all. Wow. wow, I like that. What I saw from the picture, it was like the cows are dipped in the water. We, hey, we do this at church, right? We dip people inside the water underneath where we're standing, and the preacher calls it ba Baptism, yes, baptism. Uh, when someone is baptized, he gets out clean, clean from sin. They get out clean from sin, and they become... Uh, part of the family of God. Oh, oh, and does he have extra protection? Yes, you get extra protection. But for cows, we, apart from just cleaning them, we also dip them, baptize them. 
And I know the cows will be so happy to be part of God's family. What will I do to be baptized? Well, cows don't become part of God's family, boys and girls. Yeah? Uh, however, uh, they are free from diseases. But that's a very good question, Sam. What can I do to be baptized? First of all, uh, when you need to get to understand what sin is and then that you are a sinner and that you need Christ who is the savior to help you uh, overcome uh, sin. But dad, if baptism is a good thing, why don't we baptize children like other churches do? Well, in the Bible, I don't remember Christ baptizing children or even telling uh, uh, the disciples uh, to to baptize to baptize the children. This is because if you look at young children, they still don't understand what baptism in, is all about, and they need time to get to understand what baptism is all about. So that's why we don't uh, baptize children. They need to understand the true meaning of baptism. Dad, two more questions. What happens when a person is baptized? Uh, thank you. Let's refer to the Bible. First of all, allow me to go back to Mark chapter 16. Just a moment. Chapters, uh, Mark chapter 16, verse 15 and 16 says, And he said unto them, Go ye into the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved, but he that doesn't believe shall not be saved. So we are reminded that uh, we need to talk about Jesus so that people get to understand, and when they understand, they believe and they are baptized. And now he's asked another question, uh, which I want to address in the book of Galatians. Galatians chapter 3, Verse uh, verse twenty six and twenty seven, the Bible says that uh, for ye are all children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. So we are reminded that we are. We, Christ is in us because we are baptized in him and so we become uh, children of God. Can I still believe and belong to Jesus even before I am not baptized? Yes, son. And boys and girls, yes, Jesus wants all of us to believe in him. He loves us so much. He wants you to come to him. He loves us and he wants to live with us forever. Thanks, Dad. I, I can't wait for the day I'll be wearing a baptism gown and be baptized. I'm, I'm going to think about the farm, how it is important to be clean and protected. I'll thank Jesus for letting me be part of his family. Amen, Sam. Thank you so much. Boys and girls, uh, Jesus wants us to believe in him. Not only to believe in him, but also to be dipped into the healing waters. And that is called baptism. So he loves us very much. He cares for us. He wants, us, he wants to live with us forever. So would you also believe in him? If you will, let's pray. Our kind and loving Father in heaven, we thank you because you love us. You care for us. You want to live with us and to live with us forever. We thank you for the message that we have learned from the farm uh, where the cattle dip. We thank you for baptism. You have reminded us uh, how important it is to get baptized, that we need to believe in you and to accept uh, to be baptized. This is the only way we'll be able to live with you. Remember all the boys and girls uh, in the congregation and those watching, and all of us, dear Father, that one day we may live with you eternally, 
because we have prayed in Jesus' name. Good morning, church. My name is Tessie Bahati, and with me here is my sister, Natalie Subira. And you are going to sing a song entitled, Peace Be Still. Welcome. Peace be still, still, still. Oh. 